Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I've remembered so you don't have to. Well, I got my recliner, I got my I Donut Donuts t-shirt on. That can only mean one thing. More commercials! So I be G.I. Joe, Joe, X Wing. Yeah, I guess it is a weird idea to review commercials, but like I said before, they live in their own little world, and they're so much fun to watch and laugh at. The 80s and 90s gave our childhood some really silly products and even sillier ways of advertising them to us. And guess what? We're gonna look at them again today. So, welcome to part two of a look back at nostalgic commercials and a segment I like to call, We'll Be Right Back. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. After these messages. We'll be right back. Where are the cool cars? Oh, figures that we start on a girl's commercial. Fucking girly ass, they just keep us from our lust of plastic weapons. For every you put it together. Dolls and fashion sold separately. Yes, yeah, so you can do everything with it. Drive through glitter, pick up dangerous hitchhikers, pose it against that curious gigantic city backdrop that you have for some reason. It's a girl's dream come true! Actually, the funny thing I realize about this is that if that car was a little smaller, it'd be a boy's toy. Now, how weird is that? You think we'd be all about things being bigger and stronger, but no, we like them teeny tiny. Have you ever noticed that? Girls got the huge convertibles, we got micro machines. Girls get the giant detailed dolls, we get the little G.I. Joe action figures. I mean, at what point did we look at TV and say, HA! Fuck that giant pussy convertible! This is a man's car! You put it together. Dolls and fashion sold separately. We're into Barbie! Wow! <laughs> what was up with that girl's reaction? It's like she forgot she was supposed to be impressed with the product. Barbie! Wow! She just sounds so entranced, too, doesn't she? It's like off screen the product suddenly turned to an incredible superhero or something. Dolls and fashion sold separately. We're into Barbie. I'm Batman. Wow! What else can you say, bud? Barbie. We're into Barbie! Wow! Wow! I am He-Man. Call She-Ra and me at 1-900. Oh, great. Another 900 number. Again, as if these didn't already have a sexual slant by today's standards, you honestly have to put He-Man in your ads now? Now you're just turning the sexual undertones into sexual overtones. Fabulous stories about what I may or may not be wearing will be revealed to you when you hold aloft your mighty phone and say, I got parents' permission! I We'll also tell you how to get an action figure or this colorful poster. Part of your $2.35 two-minute call will go to local science museums. Yes, part of your money will go to the science museums. We haven't figured out yet how to make change for a penny, but we'll figure out some percentage. I have the power! It's not easy when you're new in town. <laughs> Loser. He's new, so we hate him. Except when you have something that makes huge bubbles. Amazing bubbles. Holy shit, that kid has bubbles! Bubble thing makes people curious. I was so wrong to judge you, Billy. I was so wrong. How can anything make bubbles as big, as giant, as monstrous as bubble thing makes them? Hey, Joey! I just got a Nintendo Entertainment System! You wanna play? Fuck that oh. shit, man! This kid has bubbles! Nobody, nobody seems to be able to resist the kind of bubbles Bubble Thing makes. It's like my cruel, abusive family doesn't exist anymore. Thank you, Billy. You changed my life forever! Fucking bubbles. And what do they call this incredible invention that brings people together? Bubble Thing. Wow, was the marketing guy away from work that day? That's like the most unimaginative name I've ever heard for a product! It's like calling Transformers changey things! Or G.I. Joe's army and stuff! Or Hot Wheels! Way to make us remember the product, guys! Bubble Thing makes colossal bubbles and it's new from Whammo! Hey, what you gonna do today, Marty? I'm gonna call 976 Oh, Jesus, how many of these call numbers were there? This one doesn't even look like it's trying. They're gonna tell me a great story every day. I'm gonna ask my parents if it's okay if I call 976-7777. Nah, me first. Me first. How much you wanna bet this was just a local pedophile who got in public access and wanted to hear children's voices? In fact, who do you think is on the other end anyway? That's a nice muscly throwing on you got there. 
You know, if you get sweaty and want to take your shirt off, that'd be just fine. Oh, you are sick, man. You are sick! Don't you mouth off to me or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. <laughs> Two dollars per call plus possible toll. Ask your parents' permission before calling. Sega challenges you with Afterburner. Oh, hell yeah. Afterburner was awesome. Accessories sold separately. Get ready. Afterburner gives you the real dogfight excitement of the arcade version. You know, the only weird thing about this commercial is the fantasies this kid has. I mean, they're a little confused, aren't they? Wow! I'm playing a video game that makes me think I'm in a cockpit! Playing a video game! Yeah. Like barrel rolls, nose dives, supersonic speed, and radar lock-on. Yeah. Now, if only you can convince Hulk Hogan that it doesn't have fucking aliens in it. Give it up, Dragos. Give it up. It's Afterburner! Let's take it home. Afterburner. Only on the Sega system. Sega. The challenge will always be there. But the system will not. Hey girls, looking for something more needlessly complicated than jump rope? Yes. That's That's Are you that little bitch that always needs to show off to make yourself feel loved? The kind whose mother will threaten the coach's family if you don't get a perfect score? This unnecessary addition to overachieving physical perfection is for you! Yeah! Now, to be fair, maybe I'm being too harsh. I mean, physical fitness is important as long as you're not just doing it to show off. Dipstick, when you just want to show off. Scum! God, how did this toy never catch on? Listen to this. These were spacemen who take over the minds of dinosaurs and use them as weapons in their intergalactic war. How fucking did I That's the coolest idea ever! They're finally on me! Look out for the trap! The hippie rocket blasts the evil ruler. We'll meet again, Star. They had a TV show too, but that never went anywhere. Why? I mean, seriously, it's like the combination of everything boys like. Just throw in cowboys, ninjas, pirates, and the annoying of girls for making us feel confusing emotions, and it'd be perfect. Fighting gutter over here, Frog Threat. shoot the brain box off. He's free, he's free. Oh, well, all I gotta say is as long as Jeff Goldblum has nothing to do with them, these dinosaurs are awesome. Tyrannosaurus Rex with figures, battle gear, and motorized walking action. Dino Riders. That's, that's it. Hey kids, it's me, the Spring Bunny. Call me today and- Oh, come on! It's a fucking rabbit! That counts as a reason to call a number because you show a fucking rabbit on screen? There's a new story every day, so call today. I mean, how lazy can these get? Hello, kids. I'm a table. Would you like to hear an exciting table adventure? Because, you know, tables go on a lot of fucking adventures. So, if you'd like to hear about me, a table, dial this number. Table away! We can't wait to share our warm weather fun and discoveries with you. Remember, get your parents' permission before you dial. Preferably while they're asleep. Hey, Fred, it's the same old shtick again. Got the head. Oh, oh. Rock, rock stone! Oh, no! uh oh. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta address something with these commercials. Here you got Barney who's going to these extreme lengths to get Fred's cereal. Why doesn't he just go to the fucking store? I mean, my God, it's incredible the lengths he'll go to. I mean, his face is on the fucking box. You'd think he'd be able to get a few free ones every once in a while. Barney! And for that matter, why does Fred keep feeding into his habit? Why doesn't he just crack and tell him what he really needs to do? Barney! Uh-oh, this rock's got to roll. Okay, Barney, um, before I chase you around in some comedic routine, I, I just want to ask you to do one thing. Look at yourself. Just really look at yourself. I mean, my God, Barney. My God. You're a pathetic wreck. I mean, that stage alone, how much did that cost you? Hundred, maybe thousands of dollars? And... You keep doing this every week! Week after week, you blow your money away when you could be spending time with your family! 
This is why you're defaulting on your mortgage, Bowen. This is why Betty has to strip. Here. Here's, uh, $20. That's, that's good for a couple boxes. Go. Go to the store. Get a few. Enjoy yourself. You have a problem, Bon. You have a real serious problem. And it needs to be addressed. I mean, seriously, Bon, what is it about my cereal that sets it apart from other cereals? Because it came from your wife's box. Okay, Bon, you're going down. Oh, Cocoa Pebble cereal, part of the nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but that delicious. Oh, and you eat your wife's box. You can smush him, you can mush him. Maybe it's me, but this commercial seems ungodly cruel. You can smush him, you can mush him, you can push him. Oh, 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 God! Oh, that hurts! Oh, God, I'll just die! Smushies with a friend. This no, please, I'm claustrophobic! Oh! Smush! Oh! Sick, twisted bird! Oh! You can stop, pop, pop, smush! You girls are saying it! Ah! Mushy sold separately from Fisher Price. <laughs> Mr. Turtle. Here's a classic. It has a great setup and a great punchline. It's a wonderful commercial. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. But you see, I don't think that's the real question here. I think the real question is, why the hell is this boy naked? Nobody addresses this? Even the turtle when he first comes out is like, What the fuck? Put on some clothes, boy. I can see your junk. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to- The other scene I like is when the owl opens his eyes. I don't know, am I the only one that finds that a little creepy? Mr. Owl. Let's find out. Well, it's still a classic commercial. I always look forward to watching it whenever it's on. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. It's a signal, it's a sign you got. Oh yeah, this is part of those McDonald's commercials that try to advertise to the teen demographic. I guess they were trying to make this a household symbol. This not only shows that you can do one-fourth of the YMCA song, but also prove that your mother drank while she was pregnant with you. Seriously, how the hell would you react if someone just came up to you and did this? Hey, critic! I... 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 I oh, I... I Spit I, it out there! What is it? Uh... Get out of my house! Nothing much else you can say, but... Do the arches. Yeah! Let's do lunch. Monkey! Down with Zelda from the very start. Really? We're giving Zelda a mythical story about a faraway land, a rap song? Oh boy, this guy and Kazam should do a duet together. Then I'm the man with the plan Cause the power's in my head And the power's in my hand Cause I am Kazam I'm more than I seem You all are looking at your dream In your coffee I'm the queen So I stay on track Collect the facts Never cut the slack And I always watch my back One snap of my fingers Get a scoop of Ben and Jerry Living so rich Better watch my arterials Don't stop 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 it's not even the worst, it's just the idea of giving a fantasy game a rap seems really silly to me. I mean, you know in Japan where the game originated, they probably treated it with a lot more respect. Well, excuse me, princess. 